jump. Whoa, he nailed it. Oh, man, oh, man. Gonna have a new leader, no doubt about it. Whoa. It's right there, man. Right there, look at that. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Freedom Hall here in Louisville, Kentucky for the National Farm Machinery Show. 1998 style. My name is Butch Krieger. It's a pleasure to be here with you tonight as we get ready to go. Before we get started with driver introductions and the pulling contest tonight, we'd like to introduce to you once again, he's been here many, many years here at uh, Louisville with us, representing, of course, our good friends, the major sponsor of this show, Zenica Ag Products. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give him a nice round of applause, Mr. Jeff Kazizik. Hello, Jeff, and welcome to Louisville. Hello, Butch. We're back again this year, our 12th year. Isn't it great? I'll tell you what. We're looking so forward to it. Jeff, what's going on with Zenega now? You know, I tell you what, we really, I think the pullers really like the ideas of the toe straps you gave the guys this year. Right. We thought they might need to be pulled out of here a few times out of that sand at the finish line, so we thought that would be a good idea. I tell you what, there's a lot of surprises here tonight. You know, uh, I just happened to notice, I'm not going to tell everybody in the crowd, but when he comes up on the track, we're really going to talk about him. There's one guy here tonight that has an international tractor that's painted John Deere Green. And the name is... Preparation H. That's exactly right. Preparation H. And we'll talk about that guy a little bit later on. Jeff, what's going on with Zenega? Oh, we've been really busy today. We've got a new product that we got uh, registered back in February. It's called Touchdown. And we uh, made our booth over there in the uh, south wing around that Touchdown football um, theme. We've had a lot of action, a lot of fun and games over there, and we've had a good crowd today. That's good. How much would you? How many people would you expect comes by your booth during the uh, four days here in Louisville? Uh, I think last year there was probably a little over 300,000 that came through. Wow, 300,000 people. That's really something. That's a good idea to get that product out. That's a good marketing tool. Excellent, excellent. Well, Jeff, I tell you what, I guess you got your friends from Canada here tonight, too, also, don't you? We have some from Canada. I think we've got a couple from New Zealand, Australia, with uh, our company as guests, so uh, from all over the world. Jeff, I know the pullers appreciate everything you guys do for them. I hope they tell you through the week, you know, that they appreciate it. And I know you're a very busy man, and you need to get back up with the people. Jeff, thanks once again for all your sponsorships here. Thank you, Butch. Enjoyed it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Jeff Kazizik a nice round of applause. What do you say? Our man from... Zeniga. All right. Okay, we're just about ready to go here with competition. I think we got a few commercials we got to run first yet, and then we'll get right on into the uh, driver introduction here tonight. 30, ladies and gentlemen. We're proud to introduce our competitors for tonight. Before I get started that, we'd like to introduce my co-announcer once again. He's back for his third year here at Louisville, Frank Scott, Vice President of Louisville Motor Speedway and the main voice of the Louisville Motor Speedway. I tell you what, it's great to be back in Freedom Hall. This is my third year, but it's the 30th anniversary of this fine indoor event here. And I tell you what, uh, we're going to go up in the crowd a little bit later on here this evening and meet some special people that, that we've seen here throughout the first 30 years of this fine event. Oh, that's great. I'll tell you what. Well, this is your third. This is my 20th. So as we come in here tonight, it's 20 years of being here at Louisville. And I'll tell you what, I've enjoyed every 20 years of it I've been here. I'll tell you, every single one of them. Hey, let's bring the competitors now if we can and introduce these guys and what classes we're going to have here tonight. Starting out tonight, we will go with the 10,200 pound pro stock class. And up number one out of Mount Carmel, Illinois, driving the buck eater, here's Mike Nepper. Out of Wyoming, Illinois, driving the caterpillar, here's David Rumbold. And the defending champion, he won it all on Saturday night last year out of Grandview, Indiana, driving the River Rat, here's Kevin Masterson. Next up from Tuscola, Illinois, driving the Phantom, here's Chris Little. From Warsaw, Ohio, driving the Dust Till Dawn, and the driver is Bonnie McCoy. From Xenia, Ohio, driving the Lethal Weapon, here's Carl Atley. Out of North Canton, Ohio, driving the Green Gate Deer, here's Lawrence Klein, Jr. Not here, okay. Out of Richland, Indiana, the Green Extreme, Mike Sarver. 
out of Osco, Illinois, driving the ace in a hole. Here's Jerry Runow. And out of Seymour, Indiana, driving, barely getting by. Here's Steven Wishmeyer. All right, got a lot of fans there. From Winchester, Kansas, driving the Hurricane Alice and the driver's Travis Dolman. From Ida, Michigan, driving the Red Hot, and the driver's Edward Clock. From Warren, Illinois, Fulish Pleasure, and the driver is Gary Brinkmeyer. And out of Louisville, Ohio, trying to make it again this year, here's Kevin Smucker driving the Rampage. And rounding out this outstanding class from North Branch, Michigan, driving well, whatever you want to call it, the Green International or the International Preparation H, here's Tom Harmon. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give our guys the 10,000 pound pro stock a nice round of applause. How about it? We'll move along to the 7,700 pound super stock tractor class and starting things off from Oblong, Illinois, the driver of the squealer and Daryl Meese is the driver. From Franklin, Indiana, driving the Hoosier Deer, Tom Casting. And from Springfield, Ohio, driving the Plowboys Nightmare, Dewey Kerr, Jr. Out of West Salem, Ohio, driving the circuit breaker, here's Dennis Morlock. Out of Platteville, Wisconsin, the Rutten Deer, Bob Gansmer. And out of Sabina, Ohio, the all-business tractor, here's Roger Early. From Milton, Indiana, driving the Up and Adam, here is Neil Gittinger. From Valmyra, Illinois, driving the Hyperactive, and the driver is Bob Schilling. From Connersville, Indiana, driving the Afterburner, Gary Gittinger. Out of North Canton, Ohio, driving the Green Gate Super Deer, here's Dennis Riggs. Dennis Riggs. Out of Dayton, Minnesota, a guy I've been pulling here a long time, driving Red Line Fever, here's Esden Lane. And out of Door, Michigan, driving Radical Red, here's Jim Schadendorf. From Wilmington, Ohio, the Deer and Company, and Keith Middleton is at the keyboards. From Charlotte, Michigan, the Screaming Demon the second, and Jerry Van Dorp is the driver. Another defending champion right there. From Port Clinton, Ohio, driving the Running Bear the fourth, and the driver is Jeff Hurt. Up next, out of Hagerstown, Indiana, driving another buck, here's Mark Faust. Out of Centralia, Kansas, the Little Temptation, Brian Haug. And rounding out this stellar field out of Midland, Ohio, and driving never enough, here's Brian Stroud. Let's give the 7,700-pound Superstock tractor drivers a nice round of applause. Okay. Go ahead. Our next class, the 7,200-pound Modified Tractors. And from New Baden, Illinois, driving the track fever, here's Kevin Furkin. From Warsaw, Kentucky, driving the Kentuckian, Wayne Sullivan. From Taylorsville, Kentucky, driving the Groundhog 2, Tom Morsey. Out of Batavia, Illinois, Iowa, I'm sorry, but Batavia, Iowa, driving the Terminator, here's Tony Martin. Tony Martin out of Iowa. Out of Marion, Indiana, driving Mr. Twister, here's Scott Tedder. And a legend in his own time, ladies and gentlemen, out of Akron, Ohio, driving the Green Monster, here's Art Arfons. From Golden Gate, Illinois, driving the Take a Lickin', Keep on Tickin', here's Wayne Bunnage. From Lapeer, Michigan, driving the Wild Child, and the driver is Bob Jostock. And from Wanakee, Wisconsin, driving the P-38 Lightning, Pete Rousted. All right, out of Springfield. Um, where are we at, Church Street? Okay. Maysville. Okay. Okay. Out of Maysville, Kentucky, driving the Kentucky Thunder, here's John Calvert. Out of Springfield, New Hampshire, driving Beautiful Noise. Or Nebraska, I should say. Here's Don Schulting out of Nebraska. Man, that guy came a long way. 
And a defending champion here out of Pennis, Tennessee. Paris, Tennessee, down and dirty. Here's Jerry Stewart. Rounding out the class from Stonington, Illinois. driving the top gun. Tom Bollinger is the driver. And from Upper Sandusky, Ohio, the M&M Express with Dwight McCleary. Let's give our 7,200-pound modified tractor drivers a nice round of applause. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? All right. Our thanks going out to Wayne Supply Company along with John Deere tractors on hand here this evening helping the 30th annual event here in Freedom Hall become probably the most successful ever. John Deere people in the audience tonight. Yeah, I thought so, yeah. How about my international people? All right, well, we've got, we'll get into more later on. Here we come. Right there. Pretty decent run, folks, I'll tell you, for Mike Nepper, the first puller here. Now the question is, is Mike going to take this pull or not? That will be the question of the evening here. He has the right of the test puller to turn this pull down and come back and drop into position maybe in sixth or whatever and come back pull later on. So wait and see what the word is on Mike Nepper, whether he wants it or not. That's 238.83 for Mike Nepper and the Buck Eater. What are you laughing at? All right, here we come now. Man, I've never seen one of these come down the track. This guy's out of Wyoming, Illinois, David Rumbold, and the machine known as the Caterpillar out of Illinois, right here. Let's see what happens. Another one of those Illinois tractors. These guys are. Caterpillar, Pro Stock, one turbocharger. It's all you're allowed. Size tire is different than Super Stock. You're limited to your tire size. But one turbocharger, what you do inside internally, that's your business. Here we come to the line right now. First time we've seen a cat pull here like this in Pro Stock for a long, long time. Well, I'll tell you what, a brand new tractor, you gotta get the, wor the bugs worked out of it. And eventually he's going to, and I'll tell you what, that machine came out of the starting line with a lot of authority. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give David Rumbold a nice round of applause. How about it? Tough luck here for David Rumbold. And the challenger cat known as a even 180. Point zero zero one eight zero oh, point zero zero for Dave Rumble, and I think we still are unofficial, right, Donnie? We're still unofficial. We're still looking it over. All right, here we go now. The defending champion. No pressure on this guy at all. He's just out to have a great time. Go pulling, I'll tell you. Kevin Masterson and the Masterson Farms. John Deere people, stand up and be counted. Yes, sir. How's my John Deere fans? Well, I got my red wisp broom out here. Got to take care of the front of that tractor. Somebody presented this to me a few years ago to dust off the uh, tractors, mainly the red ones. I never did get a green one, so we'll use this. Good run. Good, outstanding run, no doubt. Well, the defending champion has come back to show everybody, ladies and gentlemen, that he is to be reckoned with in pro stock. No doubt about it. One for seven and 22 for that John Deere. Two, four, seven, and 22. So great run for the River Rat. And Masterson, a minute or two. All right. 
So your leader continues to be, of course, Kevin Masterson. And second, Mike Nepper and da Dave Rumble is third. Still do not know if we are official yet. We're waiting for the call from our head track crew man, Don Biddle. We're gonna watch one more, okay. So here's a brand new tractor, the Phantom. The Phantom on the starting line. Tell you what, if this guy, if this pulls like his other tractors did, look out sand pile, I'll tell you that right now. Because he has won here before. He laid off about four or five years, and now he is back. And let's see what happens. Chris Little. Well, new tractor and problems. It was, it was hooked, it looked good, it was running strong, and it just went away. I don't know if something happened to the turbocharger or exactly what happened to the tractor, but it was running stout. Uh-oh, I don't like the look of Brother's face there as he walks away. Evidently, he knows what happened. And uh, anyway, folks, let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? Chris Little from Tuscola, Illinois. All right, back to you, Butch. Here's Monty McCoy. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Great run. How about a John Deere, people? Stand up and be counted. Where are my John Deere fans? Oh, yeah. The pull distance for Chris Little was 172 and 69. 172 and 69 for Chris Little. 172, 69 for Chris. And the air intake shut, went closed, and that's what happened on that tractor. So once that air couldn't get in there, it was all over about the shout. Now, much as they tried to keep the tractor going, that air is awfully important to these pro stock engines. The air intake shut, and that was all over. The horsepower went down, nothing left. Also, it's a brand new tractor. It just was, that's the first hook on the tractor. These guys are now building tractors for our customers. And this is a customer's tractor, and they were really impressed because that baby, as uh, Chris's brother said, was going to the sand, no doubt about it. Be up here, Mr. Chrysler and his crew. They always seem to bring me something every year. I happen to like these potato chips from Ohio, and they brought me, oh my God, they got a special guest sitting up there with them tonight. Fearless Frank, Freaky Frank, good old hearted Frank, whatever you want to call him. Anyway, I thank my friends from Ohio for my potato chips. I love those ball right chips. Here we go, Ohio tractor on the line. Water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink, folks, right there. And this tractor was on its way, folks. And evidently, somebody forgot to tighten that down on that hose. And sure enough, the water let go, or water injection problems with it. And man, oh man, he got the red flag right there. And that tractor was on its way. at 75 even, 175 even for Carl Atley. Extreme, it comes to us out of Richland, Indiana. He'll be on the starting line here. As we watch him get ready to go here tonight. Richland, Indiana on the starting line. The green extreme, all right. Let's watch and see what happens here. Good run at tractor out of Indiana. Whoa, so close, but no cigar, I don't think. Man, he's close. Good run, though, for the man out of Richland, Indiana, the Sarver Farms. He made a great run. Let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? What do you say? 
He will be a keeper, maybe. We might keep him here. Point zero one two thirty seven oh one two three seven oh one for Mr. Sarver. The top pro stock contingencies in the country always come to Louisville. Now you've seen a lot of green tonight. You see two red ones over there. There is an orange one. And then we have the Green International Preparation H. He's over there too. Well, he made a good effort and comes up just a little bit short with that run. Jerry Runow, ladies and gentlemen. Jerry Runow from Osco, Illinois, and the ace in the hole. Point five four two thirty three and fifty four two three three point five four for Mr. Runow right there. Ed Clock out of Ida, Michigan, with red hot. All right, here we come. Tractor's ready. RPM starts going up. He's checking those gauges out. He's getting nervous. The foot's on that clutch. The hand's on that throttle. He's ready to go. Does it sound right? I don't know. We're going to try right now. Whoop, nope. Went above, and that does not sound good, folks. That does not sound good at all for Steve Wishmeyer. We need a tow tractor. That's not a good sign either. Well, ladies and gentlemen, he broke on the starting line. Let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? Steve Wishmeyer. Come on, you fans from Seymour. Let him know you appreciate him. That away. That's good. Way to go. Let's see what he does tonight. Of course, we have the Bryant family out of Ohio. They totally and completely pull that D21 all the time in Pro Stock. And Pro Stock, of course, one of the larger contingencies of pulling in the United States of America as we bring Travis Dolman to the starting line right now. Travis Dolman out of Winchester, Kansas. On deck, Ed Clock, and then Gary Brinkmeyer. for that Agco Alice, the 96.50. I'll tell you, he laid a nice run down, folks, no doubt about it. The Doman Farms. Good run. Pull 234.30, 234 and 30. 234.30. All right. Red Hot, Ida, Michigan. Here he is, Ed Clock on the starting line with that big red international. Here he comes. Come on, Ed. Oh, man. Good run, but no cigar tonight. Your leaders continue to be Kevin Masterson and Monty McCoy. They are your two leaders. They continue to lead the program here. And on the bubble, no doubt about it, continues to be the buck eater of the Nepper Farms. 0 229.20. 229.20. Let's see what happens now. On the starting line, here he comes. RPM's up, Gary Brinkmeyer. Gary comes to us out of Warren, Illinois. And he nails it. Oh, man! All right!
about you international people? Stand up and be counted. Oh, yeah. Man, he nailed it. Right on. Two tractors to go. Remember, they take four to the finals. Schmucker up next, and then Harmon. Count Schmucker out. I've seen this tractor run great. I've seen it fall on its nose, I'll tell you. This is a one super tough track. This guy is a competitor. He does not like to lose. He wants to put it in the sand, no doubt about it. Here we come. Kevin Schmucker out of Louisville, Ohio on the starting line. And then one more tractor to go. That will be the Green International. That's right, Green International of Tom Harmon. And Preparation H. Here we go. Well, he got a lot of bite. He got it nose up in the air about the 175 foot mark. And he may have just been a little bit light. The question is, did he beat Nepper? Or is Nepper safe in the number four spot? We have three tractors going to the pull-off at this time. Kevin Masterson, Monty McCoy, and the Gary Brinkmeyer, Warren, Illinois-based machine. Those three tractors will be... .63, 232.63. I'd like to welcome the Wayne City FFA out of Illinois with 22 members, 20 guests, and advisor David Scott. All right, John Deere fans, look what's sitting on the starting line right here. It's mean, it's green, and it's an international. And here comes Preparation H. Oh, man, he was cooking, no doubt about it. He had sand written all over the front of that tractor. Wow. Well, Butch, it didn't look good from the start. It sparks flying out from underneath. It could have been a clutch or flywheel situation in the drivetrain. And then uh, we did see some smoke from underneath the undercarriage here as well, just towards the uh, end of the run here. So uh, didn't look real healthy from the start, but hey, it looked like he had, was building up to a head of steam there. Well, I'll tell you what, Harmon had a good time regardless. I want to go interview him while he's right here and we're waiting for the pull-off. I'm going to run up there real fast. And let's point eight nine two 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 point eight nine for Tom Harmon. Here's your defending champion, the River Rat, folks, right here. He's on the starting line now. Kevin Masterson. This is the distance to watch. He had great ground speed. He put it in the sand. Here we go. Whoa, they really loaded that box up. And that box went forward. How about this sled, ladies and gentlemen? The Bar Built Manufacturing. And Von Bayer, ladies and gentlemen, he's out of Peyton, Iowa. And he does a great job, folks. No doubt about it. This sled is used all over the country now. He has two of them. He even has a mini, mini rod sled now made like this. This guy's really, really got into the business of sled building and did a great job. Use him over the... Uh, the uh, up in Ohio every year, the Northwestern Ohio's championship tractor pull. 2 225.20. .20. And again, that is a very critical distance there. And as measured by our laser beam located just behind the sand pit at the end of the run here. So again, it's the agent, the Nioga FFA here. The Martinsville, Illinois FFA chapter. Myron Nair here tonight, 22 members. Rusty and Myron are, uh, have a happy 65th wedding anniversary, and their dog 
hobby's 14th birthday. So they have lots of reasons to celebrate. We're glad they're celebrating it here in Freedom Hall. We just have the, just about have the track ready to go now, down here at the business end of the run. And our next pull-off contestant is ready to pull. We've got, we got a lot of oil coming out of Monty McCoy's tractor over here, the dust till dawn machine. And uh, he may have let an oil line go or something on the side. Hopefully everything is okay, but man, there's a lot of oil. Your leader, of course, Masterson, but let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? What do you say? Monty McCoy. 212.20. That's 212. Point two oh two twelve point two oh for Monty McCoy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here it is, the last hope for red. Gary Brinkmeyer on his way. Right there for Gary Brinkmeyer. But no, it is Kevin Masterson on his way to number two in a row. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? Let's give that whole class a nice round of applause. It was a good class. 213.03. 213.03. And that would have been good enough for second spot in the overall thing, run of things. So, backside with Butch Krieger. Folks, the gentleman down here in the yellow sweater lives in New Zealand, and he came all the way to see Kevin to see him run. We have a visitor from New Zealand. Let's give him an American welcome, ladies and gentlemen, our friend from New Zealand here. All right. Kevin, you just told me two minutes ago you don't know what to say. I sure don't. I never expected to win again. I told you that you and your father have always been a class act. You've always had great running tractors. If you fall on your nose, you get right back up, and the next pull you better look out because you're going to be back. And I'll tell you what, you put a hell of a show on for the people tonight. Yeah, thank you, Butch. We're just two old country boys out having fun. Well, let's see if we can get your dad in there on Saturday night, too, huh? We'll do the best we can. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your winner tonight. Let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? Kevin Masterson. Great run. Right there. Well, Gary Brinkmeyer, it's been a long time since this red tractor's been sitting here, buddy. Yes, it has, Butch. Congratulations on a great run. Thank you very much. I tell you, to uh, feel the tough green tractors like this tonight, to have a red one up front feels pretty good. I wish I could have had a camera on your expression when you went down to the sand, I'll tell you. <laughs> That's a good feeling when you can hit the sand down there. Now, I want to know one thing. Have you international guys disowned Harmon because he painted that tractor green? No, actually, we tell him it just got a little infested. <laughs> just a little infested. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, your second place man out of Warren, Illinois. Let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? Tonight, Gary Brinkmeyer. He's number two. All right. Well, this man made an impressive run also. And I'll tell you what. Hey, Monty, I want to know one thing. Do you have a motel room to stay? Yes, we do. All right. You know, some of these guys come down here, and they pull, and they don't think they're going to get in the top four, and they don't get a motel room, then they're in trouble. This is true, but we come prepared. Well, that's great. I'll tell you what's best. I've seen your tractor run for a while. Yeah, we've had some problems tonight. We broke a line, so we should get repaired so we come back. 
Anybody you'd like to thank tonight? Yeah, I got a lot of special people I'd like to thank. One is Jim Fink that does my machine work for this tractor, and he does a tremendous job. And, you know, without him, we couldn't do it. Also, I'd like to thank Bill Andrews. You know, this is his former tractor and all his support, and if it wasn't for him, we couldn't do it. Also, my track man, Don Farnsworth, and the rest of my pit crew, and my mom and dad, if it wasn't for all of them, it wouldn't be possible. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's give him a nice round of applause. What do you say? Our trophy presentations once again. Mary Kate Gatton from the Kentucky State Fair Board and Lewis Bradley representing our friends from Zeneca Ag Products here tonight. Mary Kate Gatton's a big John Deere fan too. I'll tell you what, she likes those John Deeres. She really does. No, noisy but good. Noisy but good. You haven't heard nothing yet, I'll tell you. Wait, let's get him pulling. 7,700 pounds, super stock tractor action and Daryl Meese out of Oblong, Illinois. The squealer. All right, now you notice he has no stacks to the tube. That's an alcohol burner. He burns alcohol in that baby. Totally different. See, you, the others are all diesels. He runs alcohol. How long are you going to be in this country? Uh, we're heading back on uh, Monday. You, how long have you been here? We arrived on Monday of this week. I see. Well, we're glad you're here. Are you going to be here with us all week? Are you going to be the whole, whole weekend here at the tractor pull? Uh, no, we're heading over to Owensboro tomorrow and spending the weekend down in Nashville. All right. Well, gentlemen, it's welcome to America. We're glad you guys got to come. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Folks, let's give our friends from New Zealand and Australia a nice round of applause. How about it? Thank you, guys, very much. 214.67 for Daryl Meese and the Squealer. We'll wait and see. Well, Daryl Meese has taken his pull. He's decided to take that hook, and he has met the challenge. Daryl seems to think it might be just a little bit heavy, but we'll find out. Here we come with castings. Whoa! Man, we have a little door action, a little grill action come over off the side of the tractor, but it's okay, Frank. Yeah, it looked like the cage to that puppy come apart there about halfway down the course. No problems whatsoever. All right, the Hoosier Deer, the castings. I happened to be up by Tom's farm this year up in uh, Indiana, up in Franklin, Indiana. Most powerful sport on earth is brought to you by Zeneca Ag Products. Started the class over, so this will be number one right here. Dewey Kerr, the alcohol burner, on the line. Well, the things are coming, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot of tractors out there these days that are pulling alcohol, and a lot of them are putting up a lot of horsepower. And uh, I'll tell you what, some of the diesel boys, they're not liking the alcohol too well anymore. It's been a real big tussle and fight over the, some of the classes, although we have seen some diesels beat the alcohol machines. 200.51. 200.51. Picture quite a bit. All right, here we go. Dennis Warlock. All right, good run for Dennis Morlock, the circuit breaker out of Ohio, West Salem, Ohio. Dennis Morlock, good run, no doubt about it. He made a nice run. 5-6, 2-2, for Dennis Morlock. So Dennis Morlock takes over the number one spot. He'll roll in now with that circuit breaker in the number one spot currently. Uh, is from uh, University of Iowa, is 22. And uh, all his guests would like to say hello to him and thanks for bringing him here to Freedom Hall. 
Liberty FFA out of Union County, Indiana, Brian Goss and 47 members. Welcome to Freedom Hall. Here's our next tractor on the course. And right there, another alcohol burner, folks, right there. And he makes a great run. The Rutten Deer, the 4255, Bob Gansmer. He'll take over the number one spot with that hook. So we have started the class over. And I don't know whether or not uh, Dewey, I think, turned his down. Did you take your pull, Dewey? Did you take it? 0.18. 222.18. All right, RPM's coming back up. Casting's got his problem solved. He's ready to come to it. And here we go. Tom Castings. Boy, he held on as long as he could. I'll tell you right now. He held on to that boost as long as he could, and then it just went right down. Question is, did he take over the number one spot? Your leader continues to be Bob Gansmer at 222.18. Second, Dennis Morlock, 221.56. And Dewey Kerr, third, at 200.51. Two seven. That puts him in the number one spot. He took that over by nine hundredths of a foot from 22218 to 222 27 that puts him in the number one spot here tonight Tom Castings out of Franklin Indiana a while ago and we lost Doug this year last year to a heart attack and uh, we just absolutely hate it it's a great loss in our tractor pulling and uh, we do thank a lot of Cindy and the family for coming here this weekend and we do think our thoughts and prayers are with him and also with Doug, too. All right, here we go. Our next one on the starting line. It is the all-business tractor. Roger Early. Here we come. Well, he made a good, strong run for a guy that hadn't had the tractor very long. He did a nice job. Roger Early out of Sabina, Ohio. The all business tractor. He kept the name on there of Doug Leak. All business, the 7220 Case IH. Good run. Next, Daryl Meese from Oblong, Illinois. Here's the pull distance for Roger Early 212 and 78. 212.78. Butch will be interviewing our next guest right after this next pull. Well, he made a good run. That alcohol burner, the Agritech Seeds Incorporated, made an outstanding run right there good job let's give him a nice round of applause how about it john deere there's your new leader daryl meese and the meese farms 4250 great run took and ran a rope from up at the tractors back to the driver's seat so he could kill the tractors in cases of emergency and just a lot of safety improvements that went into it here you are, ladies and gentlemen, Ollie Schaefer, big part of the first 30 years. Now more pulling action. We'll go back to Butch Krieger. Well, he made a good run. He was a former winner here last year on one of the nights in competition. Neil Gettinger up in Adam. And, uh, you know, uh, we need to, if you can hear me in, in broadband, 
You guys that just pulled in 10 pro stock, that was first, second, and third, you guys need to look at your trophies. We've had a little shift in those trophies and we need to get them straightened out. So, we've had a little straightened out problem we gotta get taken care of, so check those guys that received. Uh, oh, number four spot, 222.01. Your leader, Daryl Meese, 223.93. He is the leader, 223.93. We have Tom Castor Tractor. He'll be up next on the line. Gary Brinkmeyer, Gary Brinkmeyer, please check your trophy when you get if you, get, you can hear this in broadband. Gary Brinkmeyer, please check your trophy if you will. All right, here we go now on the starting line. Bob Schilling. The hyperactive tractor, the 3688 super stock Case IH on the line right here. Here we come. Bob Schilling. Another alcohol burner. Here we come. No, that was diesel. Pardon me. I thought I saw the stack coming out of the top, but no. And it is a 3688 diesel machine. Bob Schilling. The Minder Bob Machine out of Valmir, Valmire, Illinois. The Hyperactive Tractor, sponsored by Southern Illinois Crankshaft right there. Hyperactive. And Minder Bob, they call him. 64 for Schilling out of Valmire, Illinois. Or Valmire, Illinois. Okay, Gary Kettinger up next with the Afterburner. He'll be up next on the starting line. Then we'll have Dennis Riggs out of North Canton, Ohio, with the Green Gate Super Deer. He'll be up next. All right, looks like we're ready now. Oh, they make a little repair on the hose here, okay. Every once in a while you have that little bit of a problem, and you need to take care of that hose to keep that smoke out of Freedom Hall. Well, troubles this afternoon, folks, for our Gary Gettinger. Let's give him a nice, nice round of applause. What do you say? The International, the Afterburner, and problems for the Gettinger machine. Tough luck here at... All right. Keith Middleton out of Ohio, the Deer and Company. Another great super stocker. We've got a good field of super stock tractors here tonight. Well, he put that ether there in the air intake. Get that baby to get kicking, folks. All right, starting to sound real good now. The Green Gate Super Deer. Okay, here we come. Dennis Riggs, North Canton, Ohio, the Green Gate Super Deer. Not good. Not good at all, Butch. Well, he wisely shuts it off, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it, folks? Tough luck here tonight for Dennis Riggs from North Canton, Ohio. The Green Gate Super Deer. The final 152.51 for the Green Gate 
Deer. As he comes to the starting line once again with red line fever. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, international people, stand up and be counted. Oh yeah, my international fans, looky there. He has blown them out the door, huh? Good run for Esden Lane. What I tell you, great running tractor. Made a great rake run. Yep. 41 feet even. Wow, full pull. 241 even. Based on 240 foot track tonight as far as the full pull. He made a great run. Full pull out of here. Once again, let's give him a nice round of applause, folks. What do you say? Esden Lane, the red tractor, comes to the line. Out of Door, Michigan, right here. Hey, that's all the wild thing. Joe Kwiatkowski and the boys. Here we go. Shuts that engine off, the turbo comes down and boom, oh, right there. Sounds good. Chip Shane Dorf. Super run. Hey, we got a great crowd here tonight, I'll tell you. 306. The sand's down here and the beach ball's up there, folks. All right. Hey, we have a new fourth place man. 221.67 for Radical Red. 221.67. So Jim Shandorf goes to the number four spot. Here's Keith Middleton now. Keith Middleton out of Wilmington, Ohio. And right there for Keith Middleton. And the Deer and Company machine. Okay, fans, now again, study your souvenir program, study that Kentucky Soybean Association advertisement, and this time I'm going to come down the other side of the Coliseum and meet some lucky contestants. And if they can correctly answer the trivia question, they too, just like Josh in the fifth grade up in 219. They, too, can win an orange cap and that great-looking T-shirt from the Kentucky Soybean Association. But they've got to have a program to play, and they've got to study the ad to win. Hey, we'd like to welcome the Northam Bar... The, <laughs> how would you pronounce that one? Northam Barland County Young Farmers. Did I do that right? They're from Heathsville, Virginia. And we'd like to welcome them to Freedom Hall. Northam Barland County, Young Farmers. 220 feet even, 220 and 0. 220 feet even, 222 or 220. How Bill? 220 even, partner. Oh, 
finish up my tracker? All right, that's great. Oh, yeah, he has one back in the garden ramp, but he did right. Test, one, two. All right, here we go. Jerry Van Dorp, the Screaming Demon. Whoa, I think just a little bit too light on the nose tonight for that tractor. Got up just a little bit too high on the wheel stand. And I know that's not real happy what he wanted to do, but Jerry Van Dorp and the Screaming Demon, number two. Five nine two twenty point five nine two two zero point five nine for Jerry Van Dorp. We're looking for a fuel. Fuel. Biodiesel, right? And you're another winner. Thanks a lot for playing the game with us, okay? Let's go back to Butch for our next tractor puller. All right, here's Mark Faust and another buck, the 7800 on his starting line, ready to come at you right now. All right, good run. How about it, John Deere people? Let's give him a nice round of applause. He's right there. He's going to shake the order up, I bet, just a little bit as he made his run right there. 217.82. 217 and 82. I don't know. That's just cold. Spent. All right, here we go. Well, the 2294, big run, big run for that 2294. Nine point one eight. Frank, take it away. That's Jeff Hurt. So we'll wait and find out what they're going to do about these two tractors. All right, here we go. On the starting line, Brian Stroud, Midland, Ohio. And he shuts her off before he gets past the point of no return. So he does get one more shot. You can stop before that 100-foot mark or 75-foot mark. We don't know what they're set at tonight, but you can stop before that first pylon. If you're off the throttle, as long as you're off the throttle, you may go back and take off again for the starting line. So he does get a chance to go back again and make his run. So Butch, that means he gets to have a do-over, right? That's correct. He gets to do it again, Frank, no problem. All over again. So an excellent run so far tonight for Eston Lane. Daryl Meese is in here. We've got and Tom Castings. We've got three good tractors and I believe that Bob Gansmer, is he still a guy that's on the bubble? Uh, I think so, yes. Bob Gansmer still in the number four spot. So for the transfer spot to be able to come back on Saturday night. So we're waiting to find out. But Bob Gansmer currently running in the number four spot. Jeff Hurt looks like he is going to make the program. They've got the tractor and the hitch fixed. And so we're going to be coming at you. Here's Brian Stroud right now. Well, just kind of went down on him right there. Well, maybe a little bit of a clutch problem with him also. Looks like just quit pulling at the last minute there. And of course, he may have had the wrong gear also, but that's all she wrote for never enough, or never enough, I should say. Brian Stroud, Midland, Ohio, and the John Deere. 208.53, the last tractor in the class right here. The last one. 
to come at you. Well, we may have a problem with the clutch. Apparently the clutch doesn't want to release correctly. We'll wait and find out. Esden Lane, waiting very patiently. He'll have one more hook here, Jeff Hurt will, to see if he's going to get it out of here or not. We'll take him on back and give him that other shot. But apparently he's having some major problems. They had some major problems with their hitch. The lower hitch was fine. The upper hitch, they couldn't get the other chain around the loop. And these guys run with two hitches here. For safety purposes, they run two hitches. All right, apparently things look all right. Dad's got them fixed. These guys came all the way from Port Clinton, Ohio. Man, that's right up on Lake Erie. No doubt about it. It's a beautiful town. You ever get a chance to go up to Port Clinton, Ohio? Port Clinton is really very, very beautiful. The area is up there in the northern Ohio. Got some great islands out there in northern Ohio. All right, here we go. Running Bear. Waiting for the sled operator in the green light. We've got it now. We're waiting on the green flag. Looks like we're going to get it right now. And we're going to be cooking right here. You, the man, no doubt about it, you are the man. Whoa. How about this Alice Chalmers, though? Let's give him a nice round of applause. Jeff Hurt, folks. He made a good run. He didn't get it out of here, but he shook the order up. The 8070 made a good run from Port Clinton, Ohio. Point five eight two thirty two point five eight, and that's good enough for the runner up spot. We'll review the top ten finishers here in just a moment, then we'll go trackside for the special trophy presentation along with dignitaries here tonight from our sponsors and supporters. We'll start off with a tenth place spot, and it was Keith Middleton finishing up tenth in the Deer and Company. Ninth spot went to Jerry Van Dorp with the Screaming Demon. Eighth position going to Dennis Morlock. And then the seventh place spot, Jim Shandorf. Then Neil, Neil Gettinger finishing up in the number uh, six position. Fifth to Bob Gansner with the Rutten Deer in the number four position to Tom Casting in the Hoosier Deer. And for the trophy presentation, for the uh, top three, we'll go down track side to Bush Krieger. All right, thanks very much, Frank. Well, I got Chuck Steelman down here from Zenegag Products. I've got Bill Toll representing the Kentucky State Fair Board. And I've got your winner, Esden Lane. As soon as we get the pictures here going, we'll talk to Esden Lane about it. We'll let you get the pictures and we'll move right on down. All right, we want to get everybody's picture here in the winter, no doubt about it. Esden Lane, I, I'll back off, excuse me. I'll break the camera, no doubt about it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Esden Lane, you are the man, no doubt about it. Yeah, I'm pretty happy coming down here and and uh, worked so hard to get down here and that all the work paid off and I'm kind of amazed yet. Well, you'll be back Saturday night. Did you plan to stay anyway? Yes, we planned. We got tickets. We got everything. So we just got a few more now. All right, now, how much more work are you going to have to do? Well, I don't just look over everything and make sure everything stayed where it was supposed to and, and uh, make sure that we... Uh, had everything tightened down where we needed it. Anybody want to thank? I'd sure like to thank the Kentucky Fair Board here and Zeneca for putting all this hard work in here for all the 
people to pull here, and my sponsor, Will Rich and Amico Oil, that helped me out to get down the track all summer, and I'd like to thank all the people and all the fans for coming out here with us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give your winner a nice round of applause. How about it? Esden Lane, the winner of 77 Superstock. All right. Okay. Okay, Jeff, you guys were over there. They took you off the sled. You all went over there and tried to get it fixed. Looks like you did the right thing. Uh, we, the second hitch was just too high and the top hitch wouldn't go in. We changed it around a little bit. And then we came back up there and uh, the clutch linkage vibrated loose on the way down and I didn't think it was gonna go and we adjusted it and made a pretty good run. Yeah, it looked really good. You were just short of getting out of there. It was not bad at all. I appreciate it. Anybody you wanna thank? Uh, I'd like to thank all the sponsors, uh, all the fans and Zeneca and all the people that ever helped. All right, thanks very much. Ladies and gentlemen, from Port Clinton, Ohio, let's give them a nice round of applause. Second place. Once again, Chuck Steelman from Zeneca Ag Products, Bill Toll from the Kentucky State Fair Board, they were our trophy presentators, and Bill's grandson, Alongs, were there tonight helping out with the trophy presentations too. We thank him very much. Daryl, you never cease to amaze me. Top three all the time. Well, I've had awful good luck down here at Louisville, and I really don't know why it works that way. I guess because maybe we're a light tractor and we can balance out real well, but I just love talking to you, Butch, because I can be right here. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that, too. I like talking to you, too. I know your tractor runs better in 55 Super. It's, it's, I mean, I don't think I've ever seen it beat in 55 Super. Well, it does run good. I, we like to pull the 55, but down here we know better than to enter the 55 on kind of balancing out our weight. We enter the 75, and until we run on some bad luck, we're going to stay right here in the 75. All right, what are you going to do to beat Esden Lane on Saturday night? Well, I don't know how we could have done much better than we did. Our tires, I think, hurt us maybe a little bit compared to Esden's. He had an awful nice set of tires, and uh, we'll just regroup and just do best we can. All right, great competitor, ladies and gentlemen, from Oblong, Illinois. Let's give Daryl Meese a nice round of applause. He was third tonight. All right, Daryl, good job. Okay. Well, you've seen the smoke. Now you're going to see more horsepower. The blower motors come to us, the hot rods, the Allison aircraft engines, the turbines. You name it, we've got it here. We've got Ariuses. We've got Keith Black Hemis. We've got Chevrolets. Got a little bit of everything you want here tonight. Hey, right? All right, here's Kevin Ferking, Track Fever. Hold your ears. Here we go. Get ready for Thunder in Louisville. Well, you've seen him pull now, Kevin Furking, and the track fever will wait for the pull distance. Okay, in Tennessee, is that it? Yes. We've got a halftime score of the UK Tennessee game. UK 44, Tennessee 35. So Kentucky at halftime up. All right. And here's the distance now for Kevin Furking. 
is the official distance recorded. Wayne Sullivan up next, Warsaw, Kentucky. And the entry named the Kentuckian. We'd like to welcome the Brownstown Central FFA out of Brownstown, Indiana. And they say, how you doing, Switzerland County FFA? <laughs> Up in 343, right. We see you. Here comes the Kentuckian, Wayne Sullivan. Well, this tractor has spoiled for many years. And the Sullivans, you know, folks, they are a pulling family. The boys will pull their two-wheeler here on Friday night. We lost Pop Sullivan this year, Hansel Sullivan, the Wayne's father, and we lost him just a couple of months ago, and it was unfortunate. He's a great guy. He contributed a lot to tractor pulling, but the Sullivan name lives on with pulling. Three Rodex all in a row, all aluminum block Rodex on the starting line. Here we come, Wayne Sullivan and the Kentuckian. All right, looks like we're ready to go now. The Sullivans on the starting line. Wayne Sullivan. Whoa. I don't think the engines ever did get right. The back engine was putting out alcohol like crazy blow by through the back headers but did not ever get the up to what they needed to be I mean it was really blowing the alcohol through those headers I'll tell you had a lot of blow by and I don't think it was even pulling look I had some clutch problems also let's give him a nice round of applause ladies and gentlemen how about a Wayne Sullivan and the Kentuckian in the point three nine 161.39 for Wayne Sullivan. Here's Tom Morsey from Taylorsville, Kentucky. Groundhog 2. Well, here comes the wild thing. Tom Morsey. He used to pull super stock. He bought this tractor from John Heilman. This was the Ohio Gold tractor, the old Heilman Brothers tractor years ago and it was called Ohio Gold and I'll tell you what the man's had made quite a transition transition I should say from driving a super stock tractor to driving a modified so let's see what Mr. Morsey does tonight on the line wild man Tom Morsey out of Taylorsville Kentucky
The official distance, 169.33. 169.33 for Tom Morsey. Here is the Terminator, Tony Martin. By the way, this tractor is for sale. If you'd like to buy yourself a tractor, it is for sale. Out of Batavia, Iowa, the Terminator. Here's the full distance now for Tony Martin, 197.52, 197.52. You're still the man, Kevin. 197.52. Well, out of Marion, Indiana, here comes Scott Tedder. The tractor known as the Twister will be up next. We are official, I believe. We almost have to be official. All right, we place the pylon where the distance is to beat over on the left side of the track, and we're going to go for it as the twister comes to the starting line. Here we go from Marion, Indiana, Scott Tedder and the Twister on the starting line. Striker can pull. He's gone the left side of the track, too. Let's see what happens now with the Twister. Scott Tedder.
Butch, we've got some more fantastic fans here and a big part of 30 years of tractor pulling here in Freedom Hall. And I'm with the Sullivan family right down here in the uh, section 13 down on the lower half. And can I have your name, ma'am? Laura Sullivan. I tell you, now the Sullivan family it must be several generations involved in tractor pulling. Three. Three generations, and boy, I tell you, that's a big part of your family. And now, now, you, you, are y'all going to have entries later on this weekend here? Yeah, we have a truck that will pull Friday night. And who will be driving it? Uh, Donnie. And Donnie Sullivan. Donnie Sullivan's going to be driving it. I tell you, uh, again, tractor pulling and truck pulling, and it has to be a big part of. Uh, and how long have you been coming here to to, to Freedom Hall? Twenty-seven years. Well, you've almost been here, all 30 of them, except for the maybe, uh, what, the first three? First three or four we weren't here, but from there on, we've been here every year. How many members in your family take part in preparing the tractor? Uh, my husband and the three boys. They work on it continuously. And it kind of makes for a close family. Sometimes. <laughs> Some, and sometimes they might argue about one or two points, huh? No, truthfully, they get along pretty well. It, it's a good thing for the whole family. They all can get some enjoyment out of it. It's disappointing what happened here tonight. You, you work so hard all year long to come to Louisville, and you want to perform and do well. And when you don't, it's very disappointing. But as they say, that's racing. That's part of it, the good times and the bad. The Sullivan family here tonight in Freedom Hall, and I believe... At least one member of the Arfines family is ready to head down the course. We'll turn things back over to Butch. Thanks very much, Scott. Well, folks, here he is, the living legend in motorsports, a member of the International Hall of Fame of motorsports right here, Art Arfines. He's got drag jet dragsters. He set world land speed records. And now on the starting line, he comes ready to go tonight in Louisville with his twin turbines. He now actually has three turbines on it. One small turbine brings the machine out. He fires the other two turbines off of the smaller turbine. Now he'll check gauges. You'll watch. Watch the elbows, the stacks directly behind him. You'll start seeing a little bit of heat. You'll start being a little bit of flame. The next thing you'll see is he'll be ready to go. And this baby puts some wheel spin out. You cannot believe. So let's see what happens to Art Arfons. Here we go. A lot of horsepower for Mr. Arfons. Here we go. The RPM's coming up in those turbines. Delta Flight 259 leaving runway 477. Roger. Here we go. All right, a good run. How about it? I think we've got a new leader. Let's give him a nice round of applause. Art Arfons, Akron, Ohio. The twin turbines right there. All right.
Let's give a round of applause to your new leader, Art Arfons. Two, one, three, point four, two. Two, one, three, point four, two for Arfons, your new leader. Here tonight, second place, Scott Tedder. Third, Kevin Ferking. All right, here we go. It takes a licking and keeps on ticking. Wayne Bunnage, Golden Gate, Illinois. It takes a licking and keeps on ticking. Right here. We'll get the official distance here in just a moment. A 2-1, a 199.21 for Wayne Bunnage. All right. And that puts him at third position. Third place so far for Wayne. And your leader continues to be Art Arfons, of course. Art with a great run here tonight. He's right in the thick of it. He makes a super run, and Arfons, at over 213 feet, is your leader. All right. Up next will be Bob Jostock from Lampier, Michigan, and Wild Child on the starting line. Guys pull a lot in Michigan, I'll tell you. Quite a lot of first last year. Quite a lot. Big winner at Fort Recovery, Ohio. Tiffin, Ohio. Macon, Missouri. Mansfield, Ohio. Great run. I tell you what, Butch, we've seen an incredible night of pulling action, and we're just getting things warmed up for this weekend. Night one, first night. And I tell you what, we want to invite the fans back out and come out and see for the next three days. We're going to be determining the nation's best pullers. We'll be looking for everybody here the rest of the week. All right, here we go. Bob Jostock. Lampier, Michigan, and Wild Child. Two hundred thirteen point four two is the mark. Two one three is the mark to beat. Okay, here's the official distance for Bob Jostock, 207.41.
207.41. And let's see, that'll put him solidly in second place. So 207 and 41 puts him number two. Scott Tedder drops to number three. And Pete Rustad up next with the P38 out of Wisconsin, John Calvert and Kentucky Thunder on deck. Our first of our Allison aircraft engines tonight, the V12 Allisons come into the starting line. And these babies are fuel injected. They are fuel injected. They have two spark plugs per cylinder. They are approximately 1,710 horsepower as the output in the V-12 Allison. These old aircraft engines were ran in power boats. They ran them, of course, in the P-38s. And this is one tough tractor. Let's see what happens here. You gotta watch these guys. When you put two Allisons on up against the V8s, it makes it pretty even. But of course, we've got the turbine leading. So let's see what happens. Pete Roosted, P38 Lightning. I tell you what, fans, that looked like a pretty strong run. Let's give him a nice round of applause. We'll give you the effect here in just a moment. Okay, here's the official distance. 219.66, 219.66, and we've got a new leader. Next up in the 7,200 pound modified tractors in our 11th entry of the night in this class from Maysville, Kentucky, the Kentucky Thunder, and the driver is John Calvert. And the Calverts come into the starting line. Kentucky Thunder. Big happy birthday to Jason tonight. I think it's I think I got that right. Congratulations. He'll be driving pretty soon. Dan's gonna let him take over the charge here. I no doubt about it. Kentucky Thunder on the starting line. The Calverts pulled two-wheel drive trucks for a long time. And now they are into modified tractors. And here they come out of Maysville, Kentucky. Problems with Kentucky Thunder as he came up there. Some major damage, I believe, folks. Let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it, folks? May have chunked that rear end a little bit there for John Calvert. And hopefully he's going to be okay. Tough luck here tonight for the Calvert racing team out of Mayville, Kentucky. They started out pulling two-wheel drive modified trucks they advanced to the two-wheel drive open and now they jump into the modified tractor category and this family's been pulling a long long time all point seven two one four two point seven two for john calvert but unfortunately he broke the machine in just about mid-course 
Okay, that'll bring up uh, Don Schulting from Paris, uh, excuse me, yes, Don Schulting from Springfield, Nebraska with Beautiful Noise. Getting down to our final full four pullers here. Beautiful noise. Cinching up to the sled and getting set to make the pull. This guy gets the long distance award coming all the way from Nebraska right here. Now this is a twin, but don't count the twins out. Don Schulting, Springfield, Nebraska. Beautiful noise. Right there for Don Schulting and Beautiful Noise. Don Schulting. 175.86, that's the official distance. We're down to our final three pulls. And fans, we do want to remind you on your way out tonight, you can pick up a copy of some fantastic video action from not only tonight, but from past years here in Freedom Hall. So be sure to stop by the special videotape display and pick up, recapture your memories of the uh, tractor pulls here in Freedom Hall. Well, folks, here is your 7,200 pound mod champion from last year out of Paris, Tennessee, Jerry Stewart with Down and Dirty. He won it all here last year on Saturday night. He was your winner. Butch, do you think he'll make it two years in a row? I'll tell you what, Frank, it's a darn good running tractor, no doubt about it. It just depends whether he's got the weights right tonight, got it all set to go, he could easily do it. Well, he definitely has enough good engines anyway. He's got trouble. all three of them ready to go. He should have named that thing the Sandman. It's snowing. That's how they clean the rafters every year here in Freedom Hall. We're gonna give you the official distance, but I think you folks know what he did. All right, folks, put your hands together for Jerry Stewart. All right, your new leader. The official distance coming out here, but man, oh man, what a shot. He was your defending champion. Won it all on Saturday night last year. And I'll tell you what, I'd like to see him and Leishner heads up. And that'll be coming this week. I don't think there's any doubt about it. Stewart and Leishner, always a show. It's got those three Keith Black Hemis on there, and man, I tell you what, it sure did stroke it here tonight, no doubt about it. Here's the numbers, and read them and weep. 
232.73, and we've got a new leader. And we're not done yet, folks. We still have two Allison Aircraft Engine tractors ready to come yet. Two yet. So, and Bollinger was a winner here last year on one of the nights. Steve Bollinger, he was a winner here. So let's see what happens now. In 72 mod, also we got the Dwight McClary tractor, the m and Express, yet to come too. But here comes Top Gun. Now look at these Allisons. They are side by side instead of mounted crank to crank more or less. So let's see what Bollinger does. What's the distance to beat? 232.73. All right, 232.73. Let's see what the Allisons can do here. We already have one Allison in the show. We have a turbine, two turbines, and the three Keith Black Hemis. So we got quite a variety of engines left with two tractors to go. Okay, we'll give you the official distance here just as soon as the officials relay it to us here, but I tell you, just from eyeing things up, Butch, things look like uh, they could be close for that top three. And as the numbers now come in, looks like they're cinching up uh, our Darfon's pulling team and heading back. And here's the numbers for Tom Bollinger, 214.92. That's 214.92. Uh, let's see, that's good enough to put him in the number three spot. It looks like two of the entries have the Allisons at the second and third spots. And that'll bring up Dwight McCleary out of Upper Sandusky, Ohio. That's just a little bit north of Sandusky. The m, &M Express. Dwight McCleary. And what should be our final pull of the night?
fans, the Zeneca Ag Products team would like to thank all the fans for coming out tonight as we start off our 30th annual championship tractor pulls here from Freedom Hall. It's been a great night of competition. It's been some close pulls, and the action will continue to grow over the next three dates here. And we invite you back to witness each and every one of them live and in person right here. We'll give you the top 10 of our final class tonight and look at the rundown. And then we'll go down to trackside with Butch Krieger along with lots of great dignitaries on hand here tonight for the trophy presentations. Finishing up at 10th, Don Schulting with Beautiful Noise. The ninth place finisher was Tony Martin in Terminator. Finishing eighth, Kevin Furking. Seventh spot going to Wayne Bunnage and then Scott Tedder finishing up in the sixth position. Bob Jostock finishing up fifth and Art Arfons finishing up in the number four spot. In just a few moments, we'll go down to Butch Krieger for the trophy presentation and some closing comments of tonight's first program. Well, Jerry, congratulations, a great run. Hey, you were the defending champion. You came in tonight, you had a lot on your shoulders, but you made a great run. Thanks a lot. I, you know, we didn't know what would happen when we come up here, but you just do the best you can, and it did work. Tell you what, you and Leishner have probably got the best triples in the country. I don't think there's any doubt about it. Well, I, I think as a compliment, but I think he's a good, strong runner, too, so. And I'm sure he's gonna be around this weekend, too. Well, I, I talked to him earlier, and I said, uh, reckon we'll get to play this week, and he said Saturday. Saturday, uh, all right. Leister's pretty well confident then, isn't he? Yeah, he said we'd see you Saturday. All right, well, congratulations on a great run here, and we'll be looking forward to seeing you Saturday night. Anybody want to thank? Thank you a lot. I want to just thank the Zeneca people for putting this pull on. I want to thank my sponsor, Overy Grain, for helping me out. Sure. And, and, and all my crew, we worked on this thing hard this winter. So. Well, it sure did pay off for you, I'll tell you. Ladies and gentlemen, from Paris, Tennessee, Jerry Stewart, give him a nice round of applause. Great job. Our trophy presenters representing Zenegag Products, Chuck Steelman, and representing the Kentucky State Fair Board, Mr. Gib Gosser. All right. Pete Rustead. Hey, come up here. All right. Well, Richard let you drive the tractor tonight. Hey, paid off. <laughs> I don't know. I'd just like to thank him and uh, Zeneca for all the support and the fans. Uh, without the fans, we wouldn't have this. So. Uh, thanks a lot. Did you guys plan to stay for the week? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, didn't we plan? Yeah. yeah, yeah. We gotta go party now, you know. Yeah, did you think you'd be here, though? I don't know. It's pretty iffy. There's some tough tractors out there, especially in Friday night. I'm glad we didn't get in there. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty strong for Friday night, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, right. it sure does. Hey, well, congratulations, and uh, we'll see you Saturday night. Thanks a lot. Pete Roosted, let's give him a nice round of applause, folks. P38 Lightning, right there. All right. Once again, our trophy presenter is Chuck Steelman from the Kentucky State, I mean from Zenic Ag Products, and representing the Kentucky State Fair Board, Mr. Gib Gosser. He'll take care of the trophy presentations right there. Steve Bollinger. Tom, I'm sorry. Congratulations. Good run. Thank you. All right, let me tell you this. You guys with these Allison Aircraft engines, second and third tonight, you're starting to make them a believer, but you guys can really become more competitive against the three engines, can't you? Yeah, it, it brought them all together to where it's a lot more competitive and puts a good show on for a lot of different stuff rather than just the Allisons or the V8s. Makes a good show of it, I think. Now, was this the old Warscow tractor? Yeah, yeah, it, it was Ron's old tractor. We just uh, updated a few things on it and uh, brought her to life. Well, she sure does run good, I'll tell you. Anybody you want to thank? Yeah, I'd like to thank Zeneca and uh, all the Kentucky people here that helped put the show on, the guys with the track and everything. and. Sure. Uh, my brother with making these motors run like they do because uh, and all the other guys that help us let me ask you something how many more of these motors you got home oh we got a couple a couple i bet you do <laughs> about a couple dozen i bet ladies and gentlemen let's give a nice round of applause yes good question huh all right <laughs> and once again our trophy presenters chuck steelman with zenigag products and mr gib gosser 
with the Kentucky State Fair Board. And of course, we got Tom's kiddos in there too. They wanted to be in the picture, and we're going to let that happen.